In this video today, I am just gonna go over the very quick, simple steps of making your own awesome paint blob to make a coloring or drawing from. So first step is you're gonna squeeze the paint. You can choose one to four colors. Once you get past four colors, it might get a little um, too confusing, especially when you if you squish your colors together, uh, it might start to muddle. So squeeze that paint onto some paper. Then step two is to swirl that paint around using the tip of a paintbrush, or you can gently fold that paper in half to squish them together and then unfold. And step three is to photograph, photograph, photograph. Take tons of photos while that paint is still wet so you can get those awesome reflections. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the actual video demonstration that shows you each of those steps. All right, so first we're gonna pick out any colors. So remember, you can choose one to four. Once you get past four, it kind of puts you at risk at making too many different colors blend together and then you get a boring brown. Um, so make sure that when you're swirling your colors or squishing them together that you don't really move them around a ton. Otherwise, you're probably gonna get a very muddled, uh, boring brown color. I guess, unless you're into the color brown, then that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my colors here. And you don't really have to use very much. Um, just a little blob will do. So this first one, I'm gonna try and just do kind of like a, all of them kind of close together. I'm just really just gonna swirl them and squish them a little bit. I'm not gonna do the fold method. We'll see how this comes out. It's always a, a surprise. All right. Then you're gonna take, so I could photograph it just like this. So maybe before swirling it, take some photographs, see if you like it that way. Um, then you're gonna take the back end of a paintbrush and then you're gonna gently, gently swirl it around. You might wanna have a paper towel on hand so you can wipe off the end so you don't uh, contaminate too much. You want to be really gentle when you swirl just so you don't end up blending the colors. You just want them to like kind of sit in each other. But really you can do this however you want. Well that ended up kind of cool. All right, so I would go ahead and photograph this a ton. All right, so after you've taken tons and tons of photographs of that blob, you can go ahead and set that blob aside. If you would like to, before you set it aside, if you would like to gently fold it, I would recommend trying to make the fold on the edge, so just so it ends up kind of symmetrical, but not quite, um, all just smushed together. All right, so I would take this and very gently, just until you barely feel that paint, and then peel it open. Now you've got your two blobs. I would maybe fold it a little closer to the, the paint blob just so you don't have this huge gap. But if you squeeze it really hard, you're just gonna make the, it very flat. Um, you'll end up something like this which isn't quite as interesting. Actually, it, it is interesting, but you're gonna have to do a ton of that blending. Um, with these, it's a little more gradual. Let's see if we can get this a little closer here. You've got a little more interesting um, soft blending happening. So when you squish them together, squish them really gently. And then you would go ahead and photograph this one a ton. Just photograph, 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 photograph. And then if you are satisfied with the pictures you've taken with this one, you can set that to the side. And you can do another one. This one, I'm just gonna try maybe one color and see how that goes. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a bigger blob because I'm not using as much as the other paint. And then I'm gonna make sure that the tip of my brush is cleaned off. And I'm gonna try and squish this in a, an interesting way, see if we can get it a little bit of uh, shape there. So this paint is a little more difficult to get it to stand up in those ways that uh, CJ Hendry was able to. 
because it's not oil paint, my guess is that she's using oil paint to photograph because it does have those stiffer peaks when it's squished around. But let's go ahead and try and photograph this one and see if it's got some interesting things going on. So take tons and tons and tons of photographs as usual because once this dries and once you throw it away, there are no more pictures that you can take of it. The only pictures you can take and reference are right now. All right, so this is your paint blob tutorial or demonstration. Um, so first you squeeze that paint on there, you can squish it around, fold your paper, push it around, and then just photograph, photograph, photograph. Make sure that the lighting is interesting, that those little reflections are uh, present, because you want those reflections are really what's gonna help it make it look three-dimensional.